By default, Blender uses left click to select objects and various other elements in its editors. However, when Blender was first created, it used right click to select by default. This confused many people at the beginning and has divided communities on which one is better. Now, most of you will think, why would anyone use right click to select when every other software in the world uses left click to select? Well, there is a good reason for it actually. And I'll be spending this video trying to explain to you why many people prefer right click select when using Blender. But before we get into that, let's go over exactly how to switch to right click select and how that affects your key map in Blender. To switch between left and right click select, simply go into edit, preferences, and go to key map. Here you'll see an option called select with left or right. Let's choose right to change to right click select. As you can see, as we left click in the viewport, instead of selecting, our 3D cursor now snaps to our cursor location. If we right click however, our cube can be selected. But you may remember that right click often gave us a context menu. Since right click will no longer bring up your context menu in certain editors, you can now press W to access that same menu. Now I want to quickly clarify how right click select works. It does not simply switch left click and right click for every action. In fact, many things still use left click. What it does is specifically take out the selection action and assign that to right click, so that right click will always be select. This is in contrast to left click select, where left click includes tool usage, button pressing, and selection. With right click select, tool usage and button pressing are still left click, whereas right click is now select. This has benefits in helping the software understand what the user's intentions are between selecting and performing an action. This is especially helpful during instances such as weight painting or texture painting. In these painting modes, there are typically selection actions that can be performed, but with left click select, these get confused with the action of painting on the surface of the mesh. For example, for weight painting, if you select the armature and then shift select the mesh and go into weight paint mode, you have the option to select the bones to select which vertex group to paint. However, with left click select, attempting to select the bones with left click will immediately be confused for the action of painting. Therefore, left click users will have to hold a modifier key, in this case, control, to select the bone instead of painting. This can also be seen with face selection mode while weight painting, which will restrict your painting to specific selected faces. This mode will also only recognize selections with left click if you also hold control. However, with right click select, these actions become very distinct, allowing you to simply right click to select and left click to paint. This streamlines the workflow immensely. The same goes for texture painting, which has a similar face selection mode but requires alt left click to select faces. These are just some examples, and you will find that there are many other situations and tools where separating the selection button and the action button will provide great benefits to your workflow. This is one reason to use right click select, but let's get into the big reason why right click select is still popular today. While left click select is far more beginner friendly, the biggest benefit of right click select is that it is easier on your index finger. For artists, this can be a big one as Wrist injuries or repetitive stress injuries can really impact your productivity and long-term health. By using right click to select, a large percentage of the clicks your index finger must perform is offloaded to your middle finger. This reduces the strain on your index finger significantly, especially considering how much you have to click in 3D software. For some users, this is reason enough to switch to right click. Right click select has a long history with Blender. In fact, you can even submit feature requests at rightclickselect.com. There are many users who swear by it, and there are many who prefer left click select. The choice is up to you, as they both have their benefits. I hope this helps you better understand the benefits of right click select in Blender, and I encourage you to try it out.